Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Here we are. We're doing it. We're we're making it happen. We're making wonderful things happen. By wonderful things, I mean I'm uh, exploring the salt marsh for layers, um, so that I can make some make some friends. We want to make friends. Uh, I am. This is the maybe the first run I actually kind of care about making friends with Snapjaws. And the reason being is because there's a lot of legendary snapjaws. They are very, very common. And so it would be good if we could, you know, kind of play the balancing act of staying on neutral ground with snap snapjaws. So I don't have to spend a ton of uh, love injectors and, you know, congealed love in order to make friends with uh, snapjaws. With every snapjaw I see that happens to have reputation I need. So by making friends with Snapjaws, it means we can, you know, play the, the, the reputation gambit a little bit more um, liberally. But I am just kind of combing through the salt marsh. It's not something I tend to do. I, I have combed the desert a lot. It's That is something I've done a lot. But um, the reason being is because um, you can pretty easily take care of Dawn Gliders. They're very good XP. There tends to be a lot of Barathermites um, and, and Mechanimus that roam around, um, and they're very easy reputation to gain. And, um, you know, there's you can find ruins. It's it's all very good stuff. The Salt Desert has some great stuff, and it's, it's fairly easy to navigate and to deal with the hazards that you come across because it is so open. There is no uh, obstruction of your vision at all and that's really the only reason like the more obstructed my vision becomes the more i dislike a zone and that's kind of why i don't like the canyons or the mountains is because they are such a pain in the butt for uh hiding really nasty critters at least in the early game and then later they're just an inconvenience because i i don't walk into them often enough to want to take wayfaring so I just don't take wayfaring for the canyons and then I always get lost in the canyons and therefore I have just a constant negative association with the canyons because I'm always getting lost in the canyons. Um, 24th Atom. Okay, we have, a, <clears throat> we have a ruin here. You're famished. Are we... We're not inspired. So let's just cook a meal. We're making great strides on our... Uh, Achievement to get make a hundred recipes The the I, if there's a one achievement I will for sure not get Before the end before the moon stair comes out It will be um To find 100 randomly generated Villages because that is very like difficult to do that. That's basically at the very minimum, 10 to 12 to 15 playthroughs of Cud. Like it is, because there's, I think, 10 villages in every playthrough. We're gonna make another meal here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be very good about this. Falling damage you take is reduced to by 50%. Nice. Um, let me see here. How many villagers, how many villages are there in a in a playthrough okay there's quite a bit more than i thought one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty two okay so on you know assuming uh, and I, this is just like not going to happen, but assuming I found all 32 villages in a run of Cud, um, then it would be minimum three playthroughs of Cud in order to get that achievement. And I'm just going to say it full playthroughs, like, you know, you, you, you know, like the 50, almost 50 episodes, uh, that I, I did for exactly one run of cud yeah that three times because you know like oh i need oil don't i like the only way i'm gonna potentially find 
30 villages is if I am playing the absolute heck out of a game of cud and and it's just not gonna really happen Please be oil. Is this oil? Honey? Why do you guys always have honey? Disliked by birds. We don't have any. Yeah, we don't have any. Okay. Ooh, you have some interesting data disks. Handrail. Programmable recoiler? Yo! Ugh! Oh, that's really good. Oh, and Two-Faced is also a really good mod. It's like one of my favorite mods. Um, yeah, let's, let's, I, I, worth, 100% worth trading. I, I'm gonna trade in the Mechanical Wings for that. I think the Mechanical Wings, um, have kind of seen their relevancy. Do I trade the Masterwork Scoped Carbine? He's doing it. Oh, we, we actually already have, like, a lot. He's not doing it. Let's not trade in the Electro Bow, because I might need bits for that. Um, What? I, I can actually hold back a bit of resources. Yeah. I guess the mechanical wings really count for a lot. They are worth quite a bit. Uh, and then let's hold back, um, no, actually I could really use some more money, or some more water, I apparently only have four drams. There you go. I'm gonna assume the reprogrammable recoiler is Tinker 2? Yes. Um, do we have the intelligence for Tinker 2 yet? No, we need to be level, tw we need to have 23 intelligence for that. We have a ton of mutation points. Can we throw another one on light manipulation? Yes. Um, again, like, okay, so another achievement I am hoping to get on this run is Glimmer 200. Uh, that will happen once we've, like, acquired an absurd amount of mental mutations. Like, Esper is quite easy to get to that Glimmer if you're, if you're playing the game properly. Uh, I say properly, but if you're playing well in a way and you're getting, you also have to get lucky because you have to get um, psychically hunted and then also get permanent ego upgrades. That being said, it would be good if we could start getting hunted because um, getting that, uh, getting that ch opportunity for, for that would be good. Uh, precognition. What, what would I like to throw points on? What would domination give us? More rounds. Oh, and the success roll is Ego. Um, and Mutation Rank. So we'd have a higher chance of dominating a crit critter. What do we need for Glimmer 20? I think Glimmer 20 is when you start getting hunted right now. You need Glimmer tw 20, but uh, we're at, what? Um, 9 plus 9, we're at 18. So two points in domination would do it. We could also do Mental Mirror. When you suffer mental attack while well, mental mirror is off cooldown, you gain plus seven mental me mental armor. It would, I mean, mental mirror would be kind of nice as, as well, as long as we are uh, getting psychically hunted. I know, I listen. I know that mental mirror is bad. I understand that, but I'm just doing this. You know, I'm doing it for a couple of reasons. If we have it, we may as well throw some points on it, especially especially if we're hoping to make use of. Um, being psychically hunted and I do really need to start getting on that because um, Are we in the canyons? Okay, we don't want to be in the canyons You know if if we're um, If we're gonna be hunted then then I may as well have a bit of extra armor We have some pretty good uh, willpower. So we'll hopefully mental mirror will come off cooldown fairly quickly Oh, we, we can't cook a, f uh, a meal right now. We're inspired, but we can't eat. We're, we're, we're not hungry. Out of drum and caravan. Let's, uh, let's check them out. Got pretty good, uh, damage with our light manipulation. Another hologram bracelet. Hologram bracelet. 
don't know why that was so difficult for me. Uh, let's trade this reactive cranial plating with this silver nugget. Get some extra water and we'll save a bit of space. Very, like, exactly one, but sometimes one is enough to matter. And I mean, like, I'm always a little bit self-conscious about, like, oh, is this series entertaining? I'm All I'm doing is, like, sweeping the, the salt marsh. But I mean, like, this is Caves of Cud. This is Caves of Cud. You know, like, not defeating uh or, or completing bethesda susa you know not not necessarily um going to the rainbow wood this this is it um you know if i could if i was good enough at at this game that i could get to this point without dying then um i would be able to complete this game in classic mode maybe 100% of the time because you know at a certain point this is what you end up doing more than anything else in cud and it is um in some ways the most fun part of the entire of, of the game like uh oh we have a water skin of salt that's cool this the, the, the discoveries we make in cud are always entertaining to me anyway i mean that's why i play the game you know it's, i'm always amused by the little uh eccentric what, what is it eccentricities no that's i've lost it okay i've gone you know the 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 the, the things <laughs> the things we find in cud are always amusing to me um you know, the ruins are are interesting to to discover and in, like good things quotation marks things that are important to the player uh, i.e the equipment we want the uh the goodies they are rare enough that when i find them um i am like usually very happy about it like you know you get that that dopamine hit and there's enough things in cud that are important that are uh good to find they're, they're 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 like gifts you know there's enough gifts in cud that um just finding one doesn't mean the game ends you know like there's like a hundred other cool things that i will care about finding and maybe those things will not always be relevant um but they are usually always worth finding they're all they're exciting in their own way and that's that's for me the thing i enjoy uh, and then there's also like, you know, story based stuff as well. And I say story based stuff, but what I mean is like emergent narratives, you know, like, uh, I don't know, you find a, a creature that doesn't belong in this biome and how did they get there? And, oh, hey, they're a worshiper of poo. I don't know. The, it's some kind of weird, uh, extra sultan that, you know, was obsessed with the defecate. I don't know. Not to, not to make it gross, but you know what I mean? Like, it could, um, does a good job of folding itself 50 times in its own BS that you can't be, you can't help but, like, be interested in what it came up with. It really is mining the, uh, the folds of random generation to find something truly, you know, surreal. And then it, it comes back and it's like, Papa, father, I have found you a trinket. Look at it. It's shiny. What did you find for me this time, son? Sorry to gender cut like that, but... I found you a, a named Snapjaw. Their name is Boo Boo Poo Foo Koo. And they they worship uh, strange ob objects. <laughs> what kind of objects do they do they worship? Well, um ceramic dolls. <laughs> you know what? Good job, son. That's that is that's why I'm here. You did a good. 
Thank you. Uh, we're, we're I, like I said, the things, strange things happen when I spend enough time wandering through the salt marsh. Oh, hey, legendary giant dragonfly. Here we go. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Great thing about a layer of a dragonfly. The layer of a dragonfly is a really, um, not a good thing for the dragonfly. <laughs> I feel like... Ooh, we have a glow moth. Ooh. Spooky. Now we've made enemies. Now we haven't. Um, I feel like... the A layer to any flying creature should be updated to reflect that creature. It should be a layer that goes up and not down. Because it's, if it goes down, that means... That just doesn't make sense to me. Because they're... Um, they're just putting themselves in in a uh, unoptimal situation because they can't fly anymore. It's not not like I'm gonna kill this dragonfly. Probably I will not. I don't know unless they they make me mad. Uh, shrine, uh, to Suraduct, Sapa's husband. Okay, we have a weird artifact. What do we got? You think you broke it. Oh, that sucks. I thought I had a pretty good intelligence, but I guess I don't have a toolkit. Wow, this amoeba is really taking me out. Amoebas are really annoying. <laughs> they are truly annoying. Okay, well, we picked it up, whatever it was. Whatever it was that we broke. Where are you, dragonfly? Okay, so uh, clearly our gas like Chris is, is not charged anymore. That's what's happening. There is our legendary uh, dragonfly. So what kind of rep do you have? Loves it by grazing, hedonists and insects, hated by water barons, hated by goat folk, hated by flowers. Uh, no villagers to speak of. So the question really is, do we want to try and uh, pull back our reputation with goat folk? What are we looking at for goat folk? Um, I think I saw close to 600 there. 575. <laughs> this go folk dislike you will dislike you, but docile ones won't attack you. Well, there's that, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Really thinking about this one. Kind of a toss up. Hated by flowers is an interesting one. Hated by water barons, I don't really care. Grazing hedonists is a, is a weird one. I don't really care about my reputation with insects. Yeah, let's kill them. Burrows a channel. Uh, okay, so what happened there? You, you saw that, right? Um, the the longer we wait between rounds of using our, our any ability the more likely it'll be that when we use that ability <laughs> we create a space-time vortex and so because i never end up using mental mirror that means whenever any creature uses any kind of mental attack on us and our mental mirror actually goes off then we are likely to create a time space-time vortex so that's kind of fun I, I actually really like that, but the problem is, is it just sucked our legendary dragonfly into underground? 29 strata to be exact. I don't know where they went. They might actually have died. Oh god, we're about to die. Can we make a thing? I don't think, I don't think that's gonna matter. Can we, do we have any food? Salve injector. 
I mean, we can't dominate this critter. Hostile, very tough. We are not really doing enough damage to this thing. Engulfing you melts to the floor. You fall to the level below. Uh, this is bad. Let's take another salve injector. And we have an infiltrator. If, if, if with any luck, they'll teleport us somewhere else. They are wounded. Um, I think one more salve injector we might actually get through this. Oh, greater void spider, huh? Badly wounded. Please die. Oh my god. 700 XP. Okay, there's a lot of things going on right now. 800 XP from these. They're interdictors. These are interdictors. We get a lot of XP from those. Okay, that is a cycle flesh gun turret. Um, I don't know how... Well, we, we mental mirrored their own shot back at us, which is fun. Um... I'm a little bit concerned about these amoebas more than anything else, to be honest. Let's deactivate our hologram and then reactivate it. Do we need to recharge our gas like Chris? No, this thing just doesn't take damage. Badly damaged. It would be nice if I could... Um, have gotten something out of that. We died. <laughs> Damn. I was actually doing pretty good there for a moment. Oh no. Oh, our save is actually 29 strata deep. Maybe we can stop this from getting very bad though. They have engulfed my hologram. This is fun. Oh no, there's another one. Okay, um, let's just wander them away and then use our... We're gonna use our Jopa recoiler. That's how we take care of that. So I'm not sure um, where I was. We went to a dragonfly. Yeah, there's the. There's a, let's have a. Just make sure that we didn't like lose the dragonfly permanently. There are no staircases leading down. Well, that's incorrect. Oh, I guess that's true. Actually, never mind. Okay, so legendary dragonfly is gone forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they died to whatever uh, was on the other side of the um, space-time vortex. Sucks. Uh, rip and peace. Um, legendary dragonfly and also reputation. That's what happens. Just don't come at me with like uh, mental mutations because apparently I will just like create a bunch of vortexes. It's actually, I, I gotta say, that combination of, uh, of mutation and defects has got to be one of my favorites I've seen ever. Mental Mirror and Quantum Jitters is actually a lot of fun. Um, is it a good, is it optimal? No. 100% it's not optimal. Um... But it is a lot of fun because you just you're guaranteed to create a lot of space-time vortexes for sure We're gonna cook a new meal with salve and salt And honey salt and honey sounds good guaranteed to be tasty if eaten while hungry plus 8 to 12 to saves versus bleeding Mmm yummy 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're done on this side. So that means we're going to go north. No, we're, we're, we've got a little bit of salt marsh left to go, I guess. Yeah, one more tile, maybe? There's a chest. You never know. I might have the, the, the gun of House Isner in it. You never know. Nope. You know what? Let's kill these uh, Dawn Gliders. We're still getting 375 XP from those lads. So, worth it. Okay, so now we're sweeping back. We, we do tend to have a lot of adventures when we find something, right? Like, the only reason we got teleported 30 strata underground is because that legendary dragonfly happened to have mental mutations. Happened to try and uh, burrow a channel into our mind. If not for that, then, um, is this, what is this? Oh, it's just a slimy glow pad. Okay. If not for that, then, uh, it would have been a completely mundane <laughs> legendary glowfish, or sorry, legendary dragonfly lair. Probably would have killed that dragonfly and gotten some reputation. Honestly, I'm, I, I more welcome the, uh, the strange situation than the reputation. I think that's a lot of fun. So we have a bog here. Uh, there's likely to be some good stuff. Also, probably a cloning draught. If I don't accidentally step on it. There tends to be a cloning draught in the bogs. We're, we're being very thorough, r thorough right now. There's a lot of chaff, and it is obstructing our vision somewhat. Oh, pressed hundred percent. Pressed the wrong button. No cloning draught? Aw. Dang. Oh well. Can't win them all. That would be a great name for this episode. Do you think I'll remember to name this episode, um, Can't Win Them All? And then, uh, the last episode, uh, Easy Come, Easy Go? Take, why don't you take bets in, in the comments? Top comment with, you forgot to name the episode, uh, Easy Come, Easy Go. Wins absolutely nothing. You get nothing for doing that. I won't even thank you. <laughs> you don't even get a thank you. Absolutely, literally zero incentive. Got a Tari, uh, Tari Salt Marsh. I'm clicking instead of using the walk command because that means our character will avoid using or walking into the tar. They will tend to also avoid swimming if, if need be, which is a good thing. Clicking to move in cut is one of those things. It's a, uh, it can be really nice, especially in like a very labyrinthine ruin. Get out of here, snap dog. I guess one one thing I should do is is do, do this treatment to the canyons as well. Because there's bound to be a ton of, um, Snapjaw. Oh, you know what I should do? I should, like, beguile a Snapjaw at some point. And then 
uh, make friends with them and then have them give me some secrets. Because they're bound to tell me about Snapjaw forts. And that would be good, because therein lies a ton of reputation. Lots of trash here, which is nice. Engraved pump shotgun. Oh, we should, uh, 100%. Did I pick it up? I did. Let's go ahead and treat these as scrap. Disassemble. Defoliant grenade. Uh, treat these as scrap. Disassemble. Lava weep. Very nice. As you were, carry on. We have, um, we have domination. Something we could do is, uh, dominate a crit critter and, uh, have it contract a fungal infection. And then, uh, we'll do that for, like, one of each color. And then we'll just, like, treat them as our, our little experiments. No! Itchy skin! No! Uh, we need to, we need to deal with this right now. Okay, drink a bunch of water. Ah, refreshing. It's not refreshing enough. Drink more water. Still not refreshed. Not fully refreshed. Drink. Drink. You're quenched. Yeah, you're not quenched enough. Keep drinking. We're still itchy. Come on now. Drink the water. There we go. All right, we're good. All right. Um, someone's going to come in on this series like very midway or uh, halfway through and not understand what just happened there. Uh, I'm sorry to everyone else who gets repeated explanations for what I do in this game, but I have a recipe that is a combination of vine water, sheaf, and... Um, Star Apple Jam that when you when you consume it, you uh, have a 25% chance when you drink water to remove any negative effects. And if you use that to drink a bunch of water, then you can remove negative effects like itchy skin so you do not contract uh, unwanted fungal infections. Knowing that and getting that uh, very, very useful recipe will save you from basically getting most of the diseases in this game M far better than honey or uh or um what's the other one yuckweed yuckweed is is a is a trap and i i i like this method far more uh let's ch choose some new ingredients we don't really have anything cool to work with so let's just do like star apple vine water she vine wafer sheaf and uh, salt why not we'll make a new recipe with that these technically count as uh secrets in a way i can trade these later whenever you drink fresh water there's a 25 percent chance eh. natural healing rate whenever you take damage there's an eight to ten percent chance you don't thirst for the next 12 hours sure i mean it's not useful but i'll take it You've discovered some forgotten ruins. Oh, goody. What have we got here? Something good? Nothing. Nothing good. Just garbage again, huh? Okay, all right. Oh, legendary ape. Come here, ape. Loved by apes. Disliked by highly entropic beings. Ugh. Why do y'all have to have weird reputation I don't want to lose? Why couldn't you be hated by the children of Mamon or something? You know, I don't care about my reputation with children of Mamon. That's fine. Why do you gotta... Why do you gotta be weird? 
I'm already not on great terms with apes for some reason. All right, we'll we'll take care of this because I've all, I'm already going to get some reputation later with the highly entropic beings, and I think this is worth grabbing. And I would also like to um, learn of the location of uh, Aborokoru. There it is, layer of the of Aborokoru. Apparently, it is very easy to learn of the layer of Aborokoru. Just ask any ape, and they'll tell you. Uh, you know, it really does beg the question, uh, why is the ape of Aborokoro still alive? I, I I could not tell you. Okay, we have a dragon, an aggro dragonfly chasing us down, which is not great because there's a bunch of other dragonflies here as well. The reason I made friends, uh, or I want to find out the location of a Borokoro is because a Borokoro is an easy, easy legendary to make friends with, I think. I would say it's, it's a fairly easy one. I mean, they are on, we're on good terms with them and it's easy to make friends with them. We could even like potentially have them join us. Bought an oil weep. You know what? That's great. We could we could stand to collect a little bit of oil. Oh no! <laughs> Covered in spores. Okay. Ooh, again, we must uh, we must consume the. Uh, let's um. Where is it? Let's make this a favorite. Drink some water. Are we already got it? We got rid of it on the first try. Cool. We're also inspired. I should uh, take care of that at some point. We also have some luminous horse room. We should, uh, I, you know what I should do is collect some more oil for the purposes of, uh, making friends with robots. Sap, sap weep. Sap is actually a very difficult substance to obtain. Ooh, acid. Where is the acid weep? I would love to collect some acid, actually. There we go. Collected it in our lead acid cell. Sap is a is a difficult one to obtain. Um, so the fact that we know of a, uh, a consistent location for sap is pretty good. I had a funny feeling we were going to find a cider sap here. Maybe it was just that mushroom color that really reminded me of the cider. Um, but where is it? Not really seeing it. Oh, there it is. Hard to see because it's got all kinds of junk in the way. Not really a lot of cider here. I will collect it though. That's good money. Is there more cider on it? Nope, not really. Is there cider over here? Nope. I kind of got cheated out of my cider, if I'm being honest. We're doing pretty good on the combat end of things. It's going all right. We are also... Oh, new ruin. New ruin who dis. Got some books. Got some... I'm pretty sure one of those is uh, Reshef. I can't assume that they're Reshef, but I, I feel like the tile for Reshef is consistent. Like, it's the same every time. And that was Reshef, so I have to assume I was right about that. Maybe it was just lucky. I don't know. Collect more stuff. Some some strange tubes. Any more? That's another... No, it's not Reshef. Okay, that was someone else. Got some really good, uh, good trash on this zone. Oh, is that a legendary Barathermite over there? 
Yes, it is. Excellent. Admired by succulents. Disliked by the cursed kin of fish kith. Got a kith the fish. If you know that reference, then uh, thank you for joining my streams. Um, all right, let's make friends with this. Brathermite reputation gained. They're not very expensive to have join me, and I might do that if they have good stuff. Nanon overloaded. Um, tempting. Dazzled cheek. No idea what that does. Metal mask with colors moving in hypnagogic patterns. Uh, I kind of know what hypnagogic means. It's kind of like a non-Euclidean. I know someone's going to tell me or correct me that that's not what non-Euclidean means. I understand that non-Euclidean has a very specific um, definition, but it's sort of, it's kind of like the um, kaleidoscopic effect. Sort of. Nanon. Has a chance to dismember on penetration. If we could add that to Gaslight Chris, that would be kind of nice. Oh, Tinker 3? Oh, forget it. Forget it. We, uh, we're never gonna get to Tinker 3. You really do have to, like, make a, a character with Tinker 3 in mind in order for Tinker 3 to be even a possibility. You have to make a character with, like, ridiculously high intelligence for Tinker 3 to be an option. It's just, it's just such a huge ask. It's never going to happen. Um, our episode has run long again. Uh, I keep doing this. It's partially because I keep thinking we're going to be done this marsh any second now, but we're not even really close, are we? Oh, we're about halfway through. Um, let me finish this line and then I will head back in the opposite direction and end the episode there. Ooh, another ape. I have to assume that is a different ape. Hated by trees. Hated by the daughters of exile. Loved by apes. Um, <clears throat> the daughters of exile is kind of a blow. We could potentially make enemies to, uh, what's her name? E Elet? Uh, in, uh, Ezra? But, uh, possibly worth it. We are getting really good reputation with apes. Join me, my water brother. Nah. I don't know if a Borokoro is responsible for, a, as a village, it might be Kakyuka, although Villager of Kakyuka is its own reputation. But it would be nice if we could have the Slynth join the apes. That'd be kind of fun. Um, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you very much to the supporters of the coffee uh, for the channel. I really appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much. Uh, and if you are interested, I have launched a Discord if you want to come and chat with other like-minded simples or just get notified when I upload new videos or uh, start streams, then th that is an option. And you can always turn that off if you want. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.